Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working in my art journal. And I'm going to be working on the prompt for March in the art journal specials group from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, it's the group for my collection and I'm going to be working on texture paste. And I happen to love texture paste. So, uh, join in the fun. Shall we get started? Um, what I've got here is, um, this is my little journal that I've dedicated especially to the uh, journal together 2024 which is now of course march and that's paste and i think texture paste is a fun fun little thing so this was january this was mm, february and now we're into march so i'm just going to use some stencils um different ones to create some fun uh, texture and i'm going to be using my new stencils and they are all dirty <laughs> But that doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, I didn't clean them after my last life, but mm, it is what it is, right? So I'm going to be using grunge paste. Grunge paste is a nice paste. It's unlike any paste I've ever used before. It works quite easy, um, despite the fact that it's quite thin. And you can play with the thickness, etc. And it gives another layer of texture. So yeah, I love this stuff. So let's just get started. So I'm going to grab some of this. And I just want some of these smaller pluses here. And some of these there. And I'm going to be drying in between because I want different layers of different texture. And otherwise the stencil will be in the way. So, but you see, beautiful stuff. And I'm going to do some here, maybe some bigger ones over here. Just let me, ooh, the cap is in the way. The cap is in the way. So, just a tiny bit of paste and put that on there. So, beautiful. Now, there's a bit here that I don't want, so I'll just take that off. And the same here. So this dries pretty quick. If you let it air dry, it's about 10, 15 minutes and it's dry. Um, I'm gonna use a heat tool and this is heat stable. So you can actually just use a heat tool um, and it'll work fine, which is also nice that it doesn't sometimes i like that look don't get me wrong that it's bubbling up and uh, but not always not always so and just put it through my stencil like so oh love that there was a bit of pink on here oh well <laughs> Okay, that is on there and is now dry. So, moving on to the next step. Or now clean, I should say, and I'm drying it now. Okay, and next I'm gonna put on just a bit of crackle through the center bit. Just like that, and that's fine. Doesn't need more. So I've got all sorts of crack uh, texture on there. So I haven't used this one, but I think we've got enough on there. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my splatter box and I'm going to use my sprays. Uh, I'm gonna use oxide sprays in Antigliner Victorian Velvet. So 
I'm going to set that up, shake these up, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, now let's just get started and spray some ink. These are really soft, vintage looking colors, which I love. And then I'll just spray some water. And let that do its thing. When you're ready, when you think, yeah, this is good, I'm just going to start drying this off. And you can always come back and spray a bit more, but I think I like what I'm seeing. That it's enough like this. Just gonna splatter a bit. Splattering activates the ink again so you can sort of take a bit off where you want it and let it dry, do its thing. Then you get this beautiful look. I love that. So I've put a splatter box away because I think I'm done with the splattering. Or the spraying, I should say. Next I'm coming in with a tiny bit of paint. This is French roast. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to brayer over the top of this tiniest bit. This brayer is dying on me, which is not handy. This is just grabbing hold of some of that texture. Making it just pop a tiny bit. And I've also got this smaller brayer, which might be handy. This just helps me to get into little nooks and crannies. I'm just going to go around the edge a bit because, well, I like that. Okay, that's done. Loving this. So, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with my Gansan Tambai Gansai Tambi. <laughs> uh, what's this set called? Starry Colors. And I'm going to use um, the blue gold, because I want that's a bit cooler gold. Or the champagne. I'm going to use champagne gold. Just activate that. And put some splatter on there. Beautiful. 
So now I'm coming in with my scorch timber and I'm going to etch all around this. Well, I'll tell you about my plan. What I've got here is crazy. It's the new normal that is stamped on some um, pattern paper from my uh, Journal Phrases 3. And these are all stencils from my new release. I don't know if I told you, but I think I did. Um, I'm just going to go around this with Scorch Timber because I love that color. Crunch up this page. page. makes an immediate difference for me. So I'm gonna, crazy is the new normal, I'm going to etch that. And then I'm gonna take, this is uh, one of the elements from Torn and I'm gonna tear it up even more. And I've got a piece of um, gas when you have a wound I just tore that all up um, but it's too white for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this uh, antique linen and spritz that on there and spray a bit of water and that will give it a nice color Crunch it up a tiny bit with some scorched timber. There we go. So I'm quickly going to dry that and then we're going to build up the page. So I will build up my elements like this and then I will take my tiny attacher and stitch that together. So I'm going to stitch this one here. And yes, it's going to go through the text. I don't care. And that is going to go onto my page. And it's going to be quite tricky to fold, I must say, but I don't mind. Uh, we'll make it work because it's going past the fold line. There. So what also needs to be on there is my... Um, month and the theme. So what I've got here, uh, I've stamped out all the labels for the year already, so I can just pick and choose. I think this one is nice to use. And I will just write down there, March Paste. So let me do that. Um, I'll just take a black pen in this case. I vary with the inks and so March Paste. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach that there. I think I might have some of that coming back. Yeah, I like that. That is it. So let me get my journal and we're going to glue that in there. Now I'm going to take out my signature that makes it easier to glue it down. And I'm just going to go over the thread that you see here. So that's going to be in there. Lovely fit. So let's do that. So I have an equal border on there. This isn't dry yet, so it's staining a bit, but hey, that doesn't matter. And then I will fold this and there's my page done. So I hope you liked it. Look at the shine from the gold. Love it. So I hope you liked it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos like this. Uh, but yeah, I loved doing this project. 
simple but quick. So uh, thank you for joining me today and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.